You are listening to the Just Saying Podcast. Hey, hey, Just Saying Podcast for the end of August 2015. Hey, how's it going, guys? Man, where did the summer go? Yeah, it's like, damn, bro, we have like 11 days left. Of summer, yeah. It's the 19th, 31st, damn, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> and it's pretty hot too, so, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that, this like... This room sucks for heat. Oh, this room's terrible for heat. It's pretty Set. boxed off for sound, you know? Yeah. There's no, uh, there's no windows anywhere. Yeah, it's not he- that's not healthy for the mind. No. Being in, like, a room with no windows. No. <laughs> well, a lot of things aren't healthy for the mind. That's true, it's true. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so how you been? I've been okay. I don't know. I've just been like been working, you know, and trying to get stuff going for the podcast. Yeah, like uh, yeah, try and get like things, get bigger moves going for the podcast. Like more working on the tunes here and there. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely what's gonna come out later. But uh, today we're here to talk about. We had the Pan Am Games here a couple weeks ago in Hamilton. We're we're from Hamilton, Ontario. Yeah. Just thought that. By the way, Amanda's not here because for some reason she's not here. But, yeah, whatever. (laughs) So, like, uh, yeah, we had the Pan and Games a couple weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. It took place in Toronto, but we had a couple soccer, we had the soccer games at the stadium, at the uh, Tim Horton Stadium, used to be called Ivor Wynn Stadium here in Hamilton. Yeah, they finished renovating it, it opened up, and there's a couple Thai Cats games played there, and then also the Pan Am Games. They made a big deal of the Pan Am Games. Yeah, yeah, they did. Like, didn't they build that stadium just for the Pan Am Games? I think that was like the incentive behind renovating that stadium. Yeah. You know, but it's cool now. It's like Tim Hortons Field, and like they have like a like a little museum for the first Tim Hortons in the uh, stadium there. Yeah, that's cool that the first Tim Hortons was in Hamilton. I know, that is pretty cool. It's, yeah. I remember when I first heard that, I was like, you know, no way. Like Wendy's bought that out. Yeah, so it's not really Canadian anymore. Actually, didn't didn't uh, Harvey's? No, Harvey's. Harvey's owns it. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say something. Something else owns it now. No, no, Burger King. Yeah, Burger, Burger King. Oh, yeah, that was even worse. worse. Yeah. That's even worse. Come on, it's terrible. It's like we're getting invaded by America. Like it's, Harvey's is Canadian, is it not? Har- I don't even know what Harvey's is. Yeah. But like the people who own Harvey's own like a bunch of like sit down restaurants. So like, it's like a fast food that from the people who make sit down restaurants so that's why it's all like fancy that's why the burgers always win like best burger of the year yeah i can see that at the place i work we had the mexican team staying at the hotel nice and uh, that was pretty cool i got to serve them got to meet a few of them it was all right but uh we also had the referees for the soccer games nice uh, staying at the hotel i didn't really see much of a big deal with the whole thing like it didn't really seem like anything really moved the needle with the panic like i I feel like they just made a big deal out of it they're like oh it's gonna revitalize the tourism in hamilton and blah 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 politicians talking and it's like nothing really came of it like they kind of were yeah it seemed like they really worked it up before it came around and then like being like serving the serving the teams and like hearing from my manager all day about what's going on with the panem games in hamilton between yeah. like like we did win like we were, we did win a lot of golds we did yeah that yeah. was pretty dope <laughs> that was but, cool uh, honestly I didn't really ca- I didn't uh, really I didn't really care if that's what you, I don't know if yeah. you cared about I it I didn't really but... care too much you know what I mean like I, it was all around me at work yeah so, yeah like I eventually I kind of just like just didn't really care anymore because I was all about it for like two three weeks just, yeah yeah. I was like damn but, I was um, worried yeah I was worried that like working would be less tolerable. Because probably the increased volume of people, but no, no, nothing happened. Nothing ever happened. Everyone I talked to, they're like, "Yep, nothing. The nothing's nothing's going on really." I mean, yeah. Even at nighttime, when I go home after a game, like I didn't go to a game, but after work, I go home and like you know, people they they have like the shuttle bus from uptown. Like, I think at the mall, and they drive you to the game and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to drink, and uh, there wasn't a lot of people on, like on the bus. I ride the bus, yes. So that's good. <laughs> My car's breaking down on me, so that's a good idea. If yeah. you ride a bike, that's even better. That's what we need to do more. Yeah. But what you know, one thing we could talk about is those HO, those damn HOV lanes. Yeah. What about you know, the the three person HOV lanes? Or if you're a motorcyclist, or where, or you drive an electric car, you can ride in them. 
No, no, because they had the special HOV lanes just for the Pan Am game so that they can, like, sh- people can get to oh, and from the games. Oh, so it was a... Th- it, usually the, the HOV lanes is called the park carpool lane. You can have you and another person, so you have two people in it. But because of the Pan Am games, they made it three. And we were actually driving in that one time. Yeah. Do you remember that? I remember that. It was three, yeah. And then I was just like, hey, wait a second. And I saw the, the signs kept going by. And I'm just like, wait a second. Wait, there, did you, oh, so you th- there's three. We we're, we're gonna get screwed if we stay in here. Oh, so they changed it to three for the game? Yeah, just for the games, and then it just recently, like a couple days ago, or yesterday, or today. it's either today or yesterday. They just like they they took it out. No way. But yeah, people were getting pulled over like crazy, and it was like nasty tickets. That's why I was, I was so confused about that. We were driving on yeah. it. I was like, wh- when since when is it three? It's yeah. always been two. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That, that makes more sense to me now. And one thing that's really funny about that is that mannequin sales have gone up because people are actually putting mannequins in their cars. Are you kidding me? Yeah, is I'm not even kidding. That's just... That is not... No, like, that's... I'm not even kidding. What happens if you get caught doing that? Oh, yeah, people, it... that, people got caught and the, the cops, like, take pictures of it and, like, shame the people and it's just kind of like... Did you get even more like, of a ticket yeah. for that? Well, <laughs> I think the, the cop will just be like, "Yeah, you're you're getting a ticket for this, definitely." I don't I don't see a cop would be like, "Oh, that's fine, just don't let it do happen again." But I think maybe the electric cars are still loud in it. Yeah, because it says green permitted. Yeah, yeah but I don't know if it was if that was for the game. I don't know. It could have been. Yeah, it was a stupid situation. Everyone was like, I seem like more people were unhappy than happy. I mean, the golds were awesome. But a lot of people were unhappy. Like for our city, like yeah, didn't it? Didn't it not do anything for our city? Didn't you do? Our I remember. City? I remember hearing after from people at work that like it just their expectations of like the tourism and all everything you were. Yeah, saying, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Like, yeah, it just didn't do anything at all. Didn't like, do just, anything. No. You say, oh, we had the game tour, and so what? We, we spent money into a stadium. Yep. So what? You know? I think the Esso gas stations were selling the mascot toy. I oh yeah, was... I, I noticed that the little like hedge, not hedgehog, yeah. or porcupine. It was or a hedgehog, I think. Or yeah, or yeah. I don't know. Whatever, but uh, it was, yeah, I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, but you know, they must have like sold a lot of tickets for the games. Cause yeah, I saw, they I did. saw pictures and like people going to the games, and it, it seemed pretty packed out there. Yeah, did, so, yeah. Like, I would, I would have gone to it. But, but that, that that money probably just went back into the stadium. Yeah, that's exactly a lot of the, the a lot of the city spent a lot of money on the Pan Am Games, just preparing for it. Like, if it was the Olympics in our city, then that would actually make a big deal. But because it's not the Olympics, it's the Pan Am Games. Then they had the Para Pan Am Games right after. Was that also in Hamilton? Because I didn't hear. No, it was. It was. I think it was in Toronto. Oh. I don't know. I wasn't really following it. Like, I just, you know, I wake up in the morning, I make coffee, and I throw on the news, and there it is. You know, there you go. Feed it to me. Come on. It's like oh, five more gold. Yeah. It's like oh, good. Cool. All right, I'm going to work now. So we have five gold in total. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, gold. I love gold. But yeah, the just... smell of it, the taste of it, the texture. <laughs> I love gold so much that okay. Next topic. Yeah. So like uh, that we that was leading into our next uh, topic. So like yeah, like they renovated the stadium. You know, I guess it yeah. wasn't a big deal to everybody. So also like a lot of other things around other things around our city, Hamilton is developing right now. I think uh, a lot of people are saying that Hamilton's in like a certain state of it's going to get popular very soon. Like I don't know how to explain it, but like it is, dude. It, it is growing, for sure. Like yeah. like there's. All the areas that, like, when we were younger, that were, like, open fields and land, they're, like, p- throwing houses. Yeah, Think exactly. about, like, by, uh, the Rymel Road's the main road, one of the main roads on the mountain. Yeah, yeah, Think about all the way down Rymel Road, uh, like, kind of, like, on your way to Binbrook. Mm-hmm. Like, where we, like, all, think of Binbrook when we went to, uh, your, that Stag and Doe. Yeah. All yeah. those new homes around there. That wasn't there, like, five years ago. Really? Five, I years didn't, ago. I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, like, that it's all, crazy. like, in Upper James right now, it's another, that's also another main, like, uh, shopping area in Hamilton. Yeah. A lot of cops on there, too. They like to pull cops, people over. Yeah. Upper James. But, uh, behind the, de- behind the Mandarin, that little area by the beer store and all that stuff, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. all the restaurants, uh, they're, you know, they're making, they're excavating land in the pack. And if you go down Upper James, past Rymel... They're building houses in the country out there, more complexes. Huh. Like, they're developing the land to make it look like a complex and stuff. We have yeah. condo buildings as well popping up. There's two downtown. There's yeah, like, I was going to bring up the condos, yeah. Yeah. They, they gutted the whole condo. It was like an old, like, hotel. Mm-hmm. And they gutted the whole place right now. And then, uh, right next to my other job, they're building, like, a huge condo building, like, brand spanking new. They're building a, a condo thing on Scenic, too. They, they tore down, like, the, I think it was the old mental hospital. 
Oh yeah, they're it, building condos there. Yeah, they're building condos there. Yeah, my dad says, "Yeah, well, I want one when it comes up, when they when they go up for sale." Oh, for sure. I was like, "All right, let's dude, do this. like that's such an easy way to live." <laughs> yep. Half the time, those condo buildings have like gyms and like laundry facilities and all this stuff yeah. like in, on, on their site, so it's pretty convenient. True. Uh, uh, sorry, yawning. One thing I was gonna say that is um. Actually, recently, I, I had uh, someone tell me. I, had, I actually had this conversation with someone, and the guy was like, man, think about it. Hamilton's the best place you'd want to live because basically you're an hour from the States. You're like an, a half an hour from Toronto. You're you're near all, like, the main highways. Like, the way he explained it is like, yeah, I guess Hamilton is the really like the, a really, really good city to live in because, like, yeah, you're, you're close to Toronto. You're close to here. You're close to there. You're close to the States. It's just, like perfect you're just like in the perfect location that is very true yeah. yeah if you're in toronto you kind of have to go back towards hamilton a little bit and then you'd have to jump on the um what is it the qew yeah, yeah, yeah towards like niagara falls yeah you know what i mean so like you have to backtrack to get to niagara falls where hamilton you can just pick a pick your location pick different direction yeah. from each other try there it is a good location but like it's, it's starting to get more populated now and like we have like the the light rail transit coming in yeah they're, they're putting money into that they're putting on like a lot of money into that uh they're trying they are they're always trying to make the city look better though which i which i appreciate i really like downtown yeah i think too. the culture is downtown. just nice yeah like yeah it is great james street uh james street's awesome law street's awesome has Law street is fancy i, know yeah, it's, I like i like that though his uh, village is just cla- it's whatever. like yeah yeah like there's a cool there's a cool new bar on like the what's that news came around <laughs> do you want do you want to talk about Hess for a second I just want to make a comment on yeah. uh, because um, I'm the type of person who thinks that Hess is like the kind of place I don't want to be I don't know if you like here let me explain it to you okay so everyone's drunk everyone's like unhappy people people show up to Hess so a lot of people are like they're like they're like you know like, oh, my life sucks. Alcohol. Yeah, it's um, the vibe of that sometimes. It's yeah. downtown Hamilton. The cops the cops that are working those shifts probably don't want to be down there. Um, you know what I mean? So, like, they're they're probably, like, unhappy. They don't want to be there. I don't know. Sometimes I see them riding horses. I'd be pretty stoked if I was riding a horse. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Hey, what are you guys doing? I'm on a horse. I'll just trample you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, you know what? I just got this horse here. Uh... Yeah. Legally, I could just pounce you. It's like, okay, this can go two ways. This can go three ways. No, sorry, four. I could trample you with my horse, <laughs> tase you, shoot you, or beat you with my nightstick. <laughs> or take you down with my hands, which or us, yeah, too. should be the first option. But you know how American cops are. I mean, what? American cops? <laughs> You're Canadian. Oh, yeah, I see. American saying, cops, yeah. I feel like they, 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 they want to, I want to use my gun. Yeah, spoop, boom. I, I shouldn't say anything because I think we're, we're kind of related to an American cop. So we probably shouldn't. Because if he hears this, he'd be like, hey, what, what are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah. But he's probably... I swear I swear he's more professional than the cops that... The things I see on the internet sometimes with, like, uh, um, that guy who's reaching for his wallet in his car and the cop just unloaded on him. <laughs> I saw the video of that. Yeah, yeah it's like, whoa, it's like, okay, hey, that all right. That guy's a dumbass. <laughs> That's it's all like, I have to say. Come on, like, any any situation, you probably could have taken the guy down if you're properly trained. But then again, like, if he's saying he's going for your wallet, he's going for his wallet, and he's... I guess if he didn't do it slow enough, I guess the guy... Then again, you don't know the situation before that, so all you see is That's the video. True. That is true. So the guy could have, like, the, the guy... On who isn't the cop could have been like, oh, my, you, you you suck. I hate you. You're you, I hate cops. That's the police. You're it's downtown Hamilton, so you're always gonna see someone you don't want to run into. Because every time I run, I go down the Hess, I always run into someone who's like, hey, you're right about hey. that. Hey, like I don't know, I like not enemies or anything, but just kind of like people you don't want to see, like friends, ex girlfriends, and then like random people that you remember from like your childhood that like maybe you don't want to like associate with anymore and they're all like hey buddy what you up to nothing yeah me too i was like yay i love this conversation i don't want to have ever again (laughs) yeah i actually ran into someone like that not at hess village but like somewhere else in around ancaster and it was just like an awkward conversation because I'm just like, hey, hi. The, the first thing I said was, whoa, what happened to you? Because like, I'm like, what happened to you? But it was like, 
because he got like really big. Oh, so I'm like, hey, whoa, what happened to you? I, I, I kind of like, I said that, but it was so awkward. I walked away from that. I'm just like, what happened to you? Really? <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, like, oh, and a lot of like, everyone heard me. A bunch of people were around, and they all heard me. It's like, what happened to you? Really, Sal? Oh, man. I think I need social therapy or something. Bro, that was just like. <laughs> I'll tell you who it is after, but it was like I, who it was because you you know him too. And it was oh, like I think I know you're talking. What about. happened to you? He is bigger though. Why I know you're is talking it? About it okay, yeah, the, the, you know the kind of person who would who'd be yeah. an Ancaster, yeah. That's fine. that person who I don't want to I don't want to associate with because he would show up at my house with random people. That guy. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what funny. happened to you? And then he had like a sore throat, so I'm like, whoa, bro! I was like, is the testosterone like getting to you or something from the, lifting the weights? And I was like, ah, oh, it was just such an awkward conversation. Uh, oh, it's okay. okay. So yeah, Hess Village. I don't like Hess Village. I mean, I I like Hess Village, but it's like I don't want to be down there sometimes. Uh, the only thing cool. Where were we? Yeah. Go the ahead. only thing cool about that if I haven't been to, it, but I heard about it recently. It's called the arcade, and you can play all. They have arcade machines and games all around the, the bar. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. you can play as much as you want as long as you buy the beer there and drink it constantly. <laughs> It's like, yeah, as long as you're drinking our beer, you can play the game as much as you want. That's such a good idea. It was probably like when we went to Com Bravo and the, and the uh, arcade machines were like, uh, what's it called? They they're were free. Like, they're modded to like unlimited lives and like, oh, not unlimited, but yeah, like 200 lives and you would never True. die while playing TMNT, the arcade version. Well, you pay like 35 bucks to get in there. I yeah. think that would, that would like cover the cost. Oh, you know? for sure. It would, yeah. For that, sure. that would be such a dick move if they made it so you had to pay for them. Oh, I just put stupid. coins in. I'm like, okay, that come on. Where, where are we gonna Where are we gonna get change for this? Come on. But you're gonna go up to all the vendors and be like, "Hey, do you have change?" You gotta think about that. I stopped caring about dying because I had like 200 lives, and like you're just like, "Holy cow!" Like you just keep <laughs> keep dying. And it's like doesn't matter. I'm not putting quarters into this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> like it was fun though. Whatever. I never beat the arcade version, but uh, where 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 do we live off? Leave off. We, we we went to Hess, and then we went to um, okay, yeah, streets. Okay, so Wilson Street. I know it's an Ancaster, but Wilson Street's really classy. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. They they. I think last year, two years ago, they fixed that up. Mm-hmm. Give it a look. You know, they've had the signs that said like uh, Ancaster Village. Yeah, Ancaster Village. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe. And then uh, people consider that part of Hamilton. Yeah, it is part of Hamilton. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Like Stony Creek. Ancaster, Dundas, Flambro. Uh, what else is part of the region? Dundas, yeah, Dundas um, Stony yeah. Creek. Dundas, Stony Creek. Um, Flambro, Ancaster. That's it. I think that's it. I think that was. I think it's all considered like Greater Toronto area. Oh, it's a like Hamilton Wentworth uh, division or something. GTA is like. Actually, yeah, we're all GTA around here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, there's different... There's, like, the Halton region. What's that? Like, uh... uh like, know. Milton and, like, London and all that mm-hmm. stuff. But anyways... Brantford, yeah. Brantford, yeah. All so, yeah, we're, what we're talking about is, like, how our city... Hamilton, is, yeah. Yeah, Hamilton is, like, developing over the years. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. A lot of uh, films are getting shot in Hamilton, too. Yeah, it's a classy play. What was the most recent one? Uh, I know, like, back in the day, The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, The Hulk was shot here. Yeah, that was the, cool. Yeah, The Hulk was shot here. Uh, what, else, what else? I can't remember any specifics. Um, Like, so a lot of TV shows were shot here. Uh, like, they, they loved using Dundas and Dundurn Castle and stuff like that. Yeah, Dundurn Castle. That was used a lot. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can't really think off the top of my head, but yeah, it is, it is a, it's growing in um, popularity for that stuff. Yeah, also like uh yeah, we have we have a lot more mixed cultures moving into I That's noticed. Cool, yeah. Like uh Ancaster's got a lot more uh, mixed people instead of all white people, like it used to always <laughs> be. But um the condos, those are starting to pop up everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like uh we never really had too many condos. Like we had some in the the original oh, yeah, we had some in Ancaster. Like maybe two buildings, but uh yeah. Now they're popping up downtown. I think the there's a guy named Darko who yeah. owns like a, a so much property in Hamilton. It owns like the Sheridan Hotel, the Hilt, the Homewood Suites by Hilton, the State Ridge Suites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he owns like uh, a strip joint in Burlington, which is like uh, like a neighbor t- a neighbor city. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got a couple restaurants here. He's got so much land. He's worth like over a hundred million dollars. Nice. 
Just and, get him on the podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got like mob <laughs> ties too. Like. Oh, okay. Then yeah, no, let's not do that. So like, I, do you remember when? Do you remember when they were trying to like build a casino in Hamilton? That whole yeah, yeah, did? downtown Hamilton. They're saying it'll revive the downtown core. Yeah, well, it would bring a lot more like crazy concerts and bigger acts to come to our city. But, yeah, yeah, it would. You know, people, the hippies, whatever. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I guess this Darko guy, he was taking a gamble on that. So he's like, okay, if they're gonna build this, I'm gonna take a yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Pun intended. Yeah, what were you going to say? So he was kind of taking a gamble on it. Like, he was just building uh, all these hotels and having all this property close by in case they put that casino. Mm-hmm. Because, like, uh, regardless of the hotel, they're always going to get fi- They're always going to find a way to fill up the hotels. Like, people work in the hotels. They go, they go out and find people to stay at their hotels and keep it occupied at all times. So really? even if the plan backfired, which it did, they didn't end up, and didn't end up building the, uh, the casino. Yeah. It, the, the, both, all the hotels that he owns are still like, like pretty much occupied. The other day we had 700 people in the hotel. They nice. all came out for breakfast. It was a zoo. Nice. Absolute zoo. But like, you know what? Is that turned off? No, it's just him. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't right. matter. Like he took the gamble. It doesn't matter. He's still doing all right. He probably owns that condo building right next to it too. Mm-hmm. Knowing him. <laughs> Speaking about condos, though, like, if you, you got to think about it, though. Like, the population is set to double in pretty soon. For sure. In uh, the 70s, I think the population was at 4 billion or something. 4 billion. Or I heard, I saw, like, a quote somewhere where it's, like, I guess when the original, like, Legend of Zelda video game came out, like, the population was, like, at 4 billion. Yeah. And now we're at 7 billion, and then they're saying that, like... It's gonna double again, so there's gonna be 14 billion people. Like, how? What is everyone gonna like? Imagine like, imagine how populated every, everything is now. That's yeah. gonna be double pretty soon. Like, double cars, double this, double that, and it's like it's kind of depressing to think about. Like, I don't know how they're gonna think about how like Toronto is right now. It's such a dense area. I feel like that's what's gonna happen to Hamilton. That's gonna yeah. double though. That's the thing. That's a scary thing. Yeah, yeah. And like, if you as you pull in Toronto. Like, the outskirts of it, they're just condo buildings being built. And then as you drive into the city, it's, like, more condo buildings already built, just closer together. Like I don't like driving in Toronto, by yeah. the way. Like, me and my brother and Franco, we, were on, we went to uh, the Toronto Islands, like, a couple, for my birthday a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we were on the boat at, like, nighttime, around, like, 11.30 on nice. the ferry. And we were looking at the city, and you just see, like, how dense it is in the one area. And then it kind of, like, spreads out. But I was telling them, like, over time, that area where they're building all the, uh, like, all the new condos is just going to be as dense as the heart of the city. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you're talking about, like, doubling. It's going to double and just be this huge, dense, like, futuristic city. (laughs) True. But, like, Hamilton's starting to turn to that. Like, the light rail transits, uh, Mm -hmm. the condo buildings popping up everywhere. Mm Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and, like, all those new neighborhoods that look the same. You Mm -hmm. know, like, you know, like, this neighborhood that we live in. It's kind of like has an all old, the houses. Yeah, yeah. Has yeah. an old feel. Kind of houses are all different. I like that though. I do too. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like a, that's how it should be. Now all the new neighborhoods. It's like every there's like three. The whole complex is made up of three style of houses. They use those three styles over and over and just change the colors of the house. So it's like super boring and like I don't know. You like like the Meadowlands. Hmm. And like that's everything's looking like the Meadowlands now. The old homes. Well, I guess I guess for for building it would be it's easier to produce oh, that. For sure, for sure. 100%. But it's like, I thought I always thought that it was like you buy the land and you design the house yourself. That's I thought that I thought that's how like this area was was put together, like Ancaster yeah. area. Yeah, like back in the day, maybe the older Ancaster. Yeah, you buy the no, land. Like, and isn't it? like this house, the house that you're in now. Like didn't like when the owners came, they bought the land and then they designed the house. It was like and uh, maybe they, back maybe back in the day. I know now the way it works is like, okay, so we're building uh, two hundred houses on this lot that we own. Uh, Do you want to buy a spot, a house, like a spot, one of those houses before yeah, yeah. it's even started digging the foundation or anything? Yeah, the they show you like yeah. the architect, like the three D model of the house, huh. the design of it, the look of it. It's gonna look like the same as like the other th- other houses in the area, but yeah, that sucks. So they so they have like like a three D model, like the the blueprints and everything beforehand, and then there's like a bit, little bit of a bidding war if a lot of people buy into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's phases. So like the first phase would be like twenty houses. They'll build those twenty houses and people will move in. So then they'll start the second phase, which is like maybe they like double the amount, forty, mm-hmm. and then build those houses. People move in as you go. You know, like, 
Yeah, true, true. Yeah, it's all about production these days. They want to try to bang out and sell as many homes as you can. That's why like all this is happening all over Hamilton. True. Another th another cool thing was like uh, the high schools, like that we went to. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. We went to the STMs. And STMs Thomas, is completely different now. Yeah, it's like uh, it looks way nicer than Bishop Tonus. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah, you went yeah, to Bishop like, Tonus. Yeah. At different parts of the city, but uh, ten years ago we were in high school. Ten something. years ago, yeah. no, like, like five six. years ago. Yeah, we're almost there. Ago. But anyways, uh, so they it's it's cool to see that they like renovated all the outdoor uh, facilities and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Like at all the schools on the same school board have uh, on the Catholic school board, I should say, have um, the nice running tracks, the turf field, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And yeah, it's, it's good. Cool. It's good. Yeah. It's make it all make it all even, I guess. As long as like not every school looks the same, like the houses you were just saying, then that's yeah, cool. yeah. Because yeah, I don't like that. I don't like live. I don't like the idea where you live in a world where it's like your house could either look like one of two, one of three different types of things. Like yeah. one, the, the 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 neighborhood I grew up in, which is like on the east end of Hamilton, east side of Hamilton, like every house was a different house. Like not one house was it. Some houses were smaller than other houses, which was actually kind of cool. Yeah. Like that was a cool neighborhood to grow up in, just seeing all that. Yeah, it's like uh, but, it's like my like both men in his areas, like this area and I'm on on my dad's side, my mm -hmm. grandmother's. Uh, the, the her house is just like sticks out like a sore thumb, and all the surrounding houses are all different. I, I like it that way, and now it just seems too commercialized. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's and that's works. what condos are kind of like too. It's like you, we, me, my dad, and my brother, we worked on condo buildings before doing like exterior work back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And all the the con, it's they had all these different floors. So they do the bottom floors first. People would move in. They do the second floor. People would move in. But all these houses were the same. The only all the condos, the setups were the setups were the same. Some yeah. had more rooms than others. Like two rooms versus four rooms, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only difference was like the coloring of the cabinets, the countertops, if they got granite, huh. or any extra feet, like add ons. Like if you weren't to get any add ons, you'd have a basic countertop, boring color, boring cupboards. If you yeah. want like granite, it's extra, whatnot. True. So everything also looks the same there. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. It's like they give you like a set list of things. Or you could pay big bucks and get custom everything in there if you want, but hmm. I, don't I don't. I don't have money, so I can't really say I would do that. So yeah, like Hamilton's obviously developing like quite a bit. Yeah. Um, it's good to see that they're restoring the old buildings downtown. Remember that mm -hmm. you know on um, on James Street and King William, I believe. Yeah, right beside, uh, right across the street from Jackson Square, mm -hmm. that old building. It says like arcade on it. I don't remember, but it's I think... It's like that white stone brick, and it says above the door as you walk in, arcade. It's mm -hmm. like an old, I guess it was an old arcade back in the day, but they restored that building. Now there's a cool bar there, just That's open. Cool. Uh, That's there's cool. like a really fancy, like, espresso cafe bar. That's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's cool to see that they're restoring those old buildings. I know, that is cool. Yeah. They had the bus lanes for a while that was actually, like... I think that was, like, ruining that, that downtown area. Oh, yeah, the... the they were like apparently. Are you gonna fall? Off? Yeah, I'll fall off your chair. Okay. okay, you're good. What do you know about the yellow, like the bus line? I know that they put it up for a year because I drove in it once. I don't. I didn't get pulled over, but there's like it was a what was it a four lane street? It was a one way street, four oh, yeah, lanes. King Street, yeah, King Street. And then the very far lane closest to the to the buildings was um, a bus lane that no one could drive in. Um, just like the HOV lanes, people get pulled over left and right when they're driving in it, and then cops are like, here you go, uh, I'm making money from this. <laughs> um, and the people are like, I didn't know, stop. And it's like... That yeah. was like a test for like the uh, LRT. The that was a test for the light rail? Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. It was like, uh, they because well, that's where they're going to put it, right? So they wanted to see how like the flow, how it would affect the flow of traffic. And then, yeah, and, yeah. They did like, it? I guess it did. They took it out. Like if you could check it, I don't know if it kind of was a little bit crammed. It, yeah, you know, I heard. I mean, heard. you drove downtown that one time. You, I remember you're in that lane. We pulled out of it. Yeah, yeah. Thank it was. God. It was more crowded. Now that I think about it, makes me sound like a bad driver. You're driving in the H O V lane, cutting in lines, driving in the bus lane. <laughs> We're just terrible people. Like what? Oh, we didn't know. <laughs> We're just like, oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, because I remember coming down there before. I'm like, yeah, oh, look, no one's in this lane. Hey, oh, it's a bus lane. Ooh, okay, that's why no one's in this lane. All yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah, we <laughs> just seeing as just checking as we go. But luckily, uh, someone left me back in. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, downtown. I love I love Hamilton. I, I love the, I love the city. Yeah, me um, too. Like, there's a buddy I work with. Uh, he like moved here from the states, and he loves Hamilton. Of all the places yeah. he's moved to, he's like Hamilton's awesome. It's comfortable. Like, exactly. It's got everything you need. It's true. <laughs> what else? They restored downtown, or they restored the city hall first. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was yeah. working for um, Cable Fourteen at that time, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we would ha- we have to record the um, the city council meetings, and they had to do it in the convention center because the city hall was getting worked on. Yeah, yeah. So that was that was an interesting experience. Actually, I really enjoyed working back in like two thousand seven. I think I was working with Cable Fourteen, just going around like different parts of the city, and that's what I think that's what made me fall in love with Hamilton was just being able to like like go around and just with the the kit, the film crew or the the production crew and just like learn. Like more about Hamilton. That's what actually got me into to, to wanting to study television broadcasting, and which leads me to today, which is like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I can't find a job. <laughs> Yo, do you remember when I came along, or you hooked me up with a like co-op? You know, I need like co-op. Yeah, because Kill Fourteen was a was a was a what's it called? Um, a community service. So That's technically, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could have used you can you can get hours community hours for your uh, your graduation. Yeah, I remember you hooking me up with that. And, and yeah, I talked the producer into like letting you like help out with the audio because I know dude, you're into yeah, audio. Yeah, he actually let me use a mixer, and he's like, "Okay, uh, turn up uh, mic one." I was like, "Yo, he's <laughs> actually making me do this. I've never done this before." Yeah, but that was cool, you know. I remember that. Yeah, it's like, "Whoa, okay, my uh, mic isn't in this field, but yeah, sure, go ahead." Yeah, yeah. He's just like, <laughs> he's like I'll, "I'll guide you through." He's being the what's that called the director? Like, he, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Calls all the shots and stuff. Yeah, well, yeah, that was, that was fun. That was fun, honestly. That was and awesome. Then, I got I got you that sheet signed and everything. All you had to do was just hand it in to your what's it called? I was the, just about the, to bring this up. Uh, <laughs> and you, I lost. <laughs> you lost it and like Dude, I wasn't gonna go back to whatever no, his name no. was, Steve or Rob or whatever he was, whoever his name was, and be like, hey man, so um, Mike totally lost his. Uh, no, it wasn't even hours. that. It was like that guy disappeared. I remember. Like we, you, yeah. you were concerned why he just disappeared. You couldn't find out a gone. reason why. He hired me and then he was just gone. I remember that, yeah. Yeah, and then you had to get my, you had to talk to some lady, who just, I guess she gave me like, like way less than what I worked. Gave me like thirty hours, or uh-huh. twenty five hours. Yeah, that's true. But I did like, I was at least there for way longer than that. Yeah, true. So she little ball me on that, but I didn't. It didn't matter. I lost. It doesn't anyways. matter anymore. <laughs> Where did you do your, your 40 hours of community service? Oh, Joslin's. Oh, true. I saw, I was like, get your 40 hours in a weekend. And I called the buddy, I was like, yo, dude, let's go do Joslin's. And <laughs> all we did was, uh, they gave us these red shirts that said Joslin's staff. We put our sweaters over it, zipped it up. And uh, whenever we want to get free food, we just unzip it, show them our shirt, then uh, grab the food and drinks, then zip it up. And then we'd go sit in the stands and watch the fights while everyone else was working, and we got like community <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> Wow, this is just terrible. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like we're terrible people. Holy crap! <laughs> no, I was young back then. Yeah, yeah it's fun. true, but man, we're still the, the cutting, stuff we did. Uh, that, yo, the stuff we did that day was so funny. Like, uh, <laughs> I remember we, we helped over for like maybe an like half hour. We were just in the guiding people parking, and it's like, hey, lunch break, and after lunch break, we never went back. Okay, then, rem- remember everything you're saying in case I have to delete this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just remember that. Oh, yeah, remember that one time I now I said I did all this because like you gotta imagine like an employer is gonna probably be like, hmm, let's see if I hired this guy. Oh, he's on a podcast. I'll listen to the podcast. Yeah, when I did my forty hours, I totally just just slacked off. Like no, whatever. Yeah, I don't that's care. not gonna happen. Buddy. This isn't like a resume. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm on a podcast. It's on my resume. Actually, well, I would. I would. I would yeah. probably do that too. I, I was going into broadcasting. Yeah. But if I'm applying for something that doesn't even like cons- need like th- that doesn't even care for like podcasts like people, it's not a lot of people don't even know what podcasts are I actually um, yeah I know it's true would with one inter inter uh, interview that I was doing um, I just dropped podcast stats all on them on them bro like I just dropped them like yo <laughs> check it start this podcast bro this is all this is where I got this is how many episodes this is how much time I edit it's like they oh, yo yo hire me bro. I, I got like you. That. I got you. Don't you worry. Honestly, though, like, there's a, like, I'm not trying to feel like I'm, like, on some kind of high horse or something, but, like, if I'm going for, like, an entry-level job in TV and I'm fully, I, I, I'm, I'm confident, like, I'm not conceited or anything, but I'm confident in my, in my experience in the, 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 the industry, 
that I could get, I feel like I could definitely earn a entry level job and then work up from there. But like a lot of people aren't, are, haven't given me a shot yet. And it's like, it's hard to get that shot. I, guess. I know it's just, it's so hard because it's like where I'm currently working is paying me like as like good money. And a lot of people would stick with what I'm doing, but I want to pursue what I'm, what I want to do. But it's like, I always leave whenever I, whenever I get the call back and it's like, Oh yeah, we're sorry. We couldn't think it was like, we couldn't, we couldn't hire you or something. I always think to myself, like, did, are, did they just, do they not like my face or something? Is this like, is that, is that why I didn't get it? Is it my face? Is it my face? Is no, it, is it my face. voice? No, both those things are okay. Is that, I don't even know. is it my, my personality? What is it? It could be that, you know, maybe like they want a certain like pizzazz on their team, you know? <laughs> cause like when I go, cause like, Places I work, if I don't like the people I work with, I'm gone. I find a new job, move on, you know what I mean? Oh, I thought you meant, like, they'll, they'll, they'll get you out. No, it, that too, yeah. If you don't yeah. get along with people, they'll probably, like, try to get rid of you, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, they, they like to org- they, they'll organize. Especially if that place you're going into has been, it, people, when people consider themselves a family there, it's like, we're like a family here. Yeah. You know, it's like, we've all been working here for two plus years, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> and you're the new guy, right? It's just like... Okay, so I could really if if one if some of some what of those people I oh probably like four minutes, but if <laughs> some of the people like don't like you at work and it gets around and they they're like they have that family mentality yeah they'll probably get rid of you yeah I know I've, I hate I've that I've been idea. a part of the family mentality and I've seen people get like tossed out it's like hey, this guy sucks Let's get rid of him oh no, yeah just yeah. like that as soon as they're like hey next time he fucks up I mean next time he messes up we'll get rid of him dude messes up what do you know we gotta let you go. Then the mother's calling, why don't you fire my son? He's got a better job now. Anyway, that's a long, that's another story. (laughs) That's so, I feel like that's somewhat unfair though. It's like. It is, but that's like how it is. What do you think business, the business world is like? It's like more connections, you know. It's like like music business. Yeah. Half the time people are going to clubs, they run into someone that's important. And it's like, hey man, let's work together, you know? That's how it is. That's how business is mostly. Yeah, I see that. You can't be, you can't be, you can't really just sit at home on a computer. You got to get out there. Regardless of what you do. Like like, uh, my dad, like uh, my dad's line of work, it's it's construction, but he he sees a nice house that needs a, like a nice old house that's that's being renovated. And they need work that work done on it that he does. He'll go knock on the door and be like, "Hey, like, I, I, I can do your work for you. Like, yeah. I'm really good. I do custom stuff. It'll be top quality. It's like, and if you want to see some pictures, we'll go to some sites I work at, and I'll show you my work. Hmm. And he does that, and they're like, "Yeah, sure. You gotta, yeah, you, you gotta get out there and hustle. You gotta be a likable. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's- I worked at uh, back when I worked at the Marriott. Like, I got along with most people there." Yeah, yeah. And people like me, they relied on me a lot for the nighttime shifts and organizing stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, like, I, I got into a situation where they had to fire me. And then my manager came up and he was devastated. He's like, oh, I didn't want this to happen. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want you to leave this place like this. Mm-hmm. And, like, he really likes me. He likes my work ethic, but he didn't want to fire me. It depends on your manager. Because this guy, like, yeah, if he really liked you, and there's a couple guys I worked with that were garbage. Oh, man. Yeah, I used yeah, to yeah. hate working with them. But because he liked them so much and was buddies with those guys, he would stick up for them. He did it for me too. You know, yeah, yeah. He covered my ass a couple times. <laughs> but because he liked them so much that he always gave them an extra chance. Eventually they came around, but not yeah. too many managers are like that. Now where I work, it's like, it's like, oh yeah, you you, you look good, but if you don't work good, you're not going to get past the probation period. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, everyone likes you around here, but if you're not a good server or whatever, if you're slacking off on your phone... That's day 59, I'm firing you before yeah. the probation's up, you know what I mean? So, it all it just depends on the, your manager. But uh, Sal, your pal, uh, has uh, brought something to my attention, and uh, what's up? Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, so, so, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so basically, I was gonna that, say was a terrible, that was a terrible yeah. segue, thank you for ruining that. Okay, I'll try it again, I'll try it again. No, no, let's keep going with it. All right, let's, let's go it's, it's, Yeah, let's keep doing it, let's keep doing it. Why are you holding drumsticks? I don't know. I'm a drummer. So, soon, Just Saying Podcast will no longer be on Podbean. So, I, I, I'll eventually post more information as time goes on. But, we are, have been a crowd, we have been acquired by Rabble Press. So, we, Just Saying Podcast is officially going to 
join the family of Rabble, the, the Rabble Press. Okay, let me say this right. The Rabble Press family network of podcasts. So, so are they, they're, are they like a collective? Clap. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 we're going somewhere. Uh, somewhere, but so, like, uh, from what I'm trying to understand, they're like a collective of other podcasts, or they're just... Yeah, they're, yeah, okay. they started, they've been doing this for like four years, the RabblePress.com. And they have a podcast for movies, for video games, for sports, for comic books, for literally like Doctor Who. They have a comic. They have um, podcasts for everyone. That's and crazy. I w- I'm the, I'm the first one that that they've acquired. That's not from like their own people. Like click of oh their own click. Of yeah, yeah. yeah. And the cool thing is now that I'm a part of the the what the their their family, I can like, um, let's say like you you can't make a you can't make a night. Or I can't make a night, or a man can't make a night. Like they can come in, and like they're one of their talents can come in and just like join our podcast and like help us out. Oh, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, we can yeah. pool their talent. And so it's, it is like a collective. We're all like helping each other out to promote yeah, our yeah, own yeah. shows and stuff. That's actually cool. It's a it's cool to be a part of that. Thanks, Rebel Press. Yeah, looking forward to it. The only thing is, I we're we're trying to figure out how to make it so that the iTunes like if you're subscribed on iTunes right now, and when we switch over, you don't have to like subscribe to anything else. But from the way it's looking, you might have to go to and um, subscribe to a new iTunes channel, which is not what I want, but I'm looking to do it. The um, Interactive Experience podcast, the one I'm on, is we're having our 100th episode next week, so tune in for that. That's going to be fun. And then I think um, maybe next week or the week after that, Cinematic Inquisition, their movie podcast, is going to have their 100th episode, so it's going to be it's going to be good times. Yeah, they check those episodes Tabs. out. They're probably. I hope they do something special for their hundredth episode. That's what pretty wicked. Yeah. But yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Thank you for listening. So yeah, that was uh, today. Was just about you know our our city where it's going. Thanks yeah. for uh, if you care. That's pretty cool. If not, I'll tell you. <laughs> and watch out for your dentist. You never know who's a snake out there. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Okay. And that's it. That was good. Thank you for listening. Whee!